I'm, I'm just here to interfere. Alright. I'm going to show you how to make a target thing like this. With a gradient. Okay. It's mm. wrist. Dude, your dock looks cool. Oh my god. No, I'm, I'm serious. Look at that. It's cool. I know. Now I should have to redo it again. No, you don't. No, you don't. We, we can cut parts out. Okay. So open a new layer. Doesn't matter how big it is. It just has to be a square. Um, new file. What did I say? Layer. Oh, whoops. Um... I'm gonna use red and black or white for this one. So, command R to use your ruler, and drag it while holding space, and it will snap in the very middle. Do that with both rulers, and go to the very center. Center! Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. And hold shift while dragging it up to the very top. And now you have a gradient. But obviously that's not what we want. So we're going to use command I to inverse it. Whoa, that looks awesome. Um, whoa. Oh, no. It's like all blue and stuff. Drag your rulers up into the ruler bar thing. And Put command back. R. Yeah. To get rid of the ruler. Alright, I'm gonna keep it up. Um, next, go to filter, distort, zigzag. Do you have that? That is a cool effect. Um, now you can change the amount of ridges so you can see. I like having it at negative 100 yeah and then you can change like that I like having it all the way and you want the style to be out from center and not pond whoa ripples unless you want it like that that looks kind of cool dude but this this looks stupid try try pond ripples I'm just gonna use pond ripples for this because it looks cool no, no. and don't change the amount Alright, it looks amazing the way it is. So there you go. And that's all you pretty much need to do. Ah, oh, and if you stare at certain parts of it, it's like an illusion. It like moves around. It's great. It's cool. Whoa. Peace. Wait. There's my final product. Oh my god, what is that? Peace.